we're going to be making a presentation board of our pattern design. A presentation board is a presentation visually of the story of your design. Now in this assignment, we just made the pattern and applied it to a piece of furniture. But that is a visual story, if you will, about your design experience. We're going to be making a board that shows your pattern swatch and then how it looks applied to the piece of furniture you select. This assignment is underneath the Google Classroom and Tools orientation. When you open it, please make sure you open it fully and click View Assignment. You'll see that there is a template that has been shared with you, but also below there will be examples of the different types of presentations that you can make. You might want to make it have the swatch large with the furniture piece there. There's another one where there's a little drop shadow added and also there's background swatches that you can play with. These are all objects that you can play with in your presentation drawing. The next thing you're going to need to do is you'll need to go back to make a repeated pattern assignment because you're going to need the pieces from there to use. Select the pattern, click it, and then under File, click Download as JPEG. This will go into your Downloads folder. Next, click the PNG where the background was removed from your SketchUp file. You may have an image where the axis line of SketchUp goes through the chair like this one. If this is the case, you'll need to go back to the file and reorient your image so that this line does not go through the chair. It just means that you have to change the orientation of how you're looking at the file so that it's not actually going through the chair. In this case, I have a chair where I don't have that line going through. I'm going to download this, and in order to do that, I have to go up to the snowman and click Open a New Window. And when I do that, the Download button will appear. So I'll just download it by clicking that arrow, and it will go into my Downloads. Next, I'm going to go back to my, my Classwork section, and I'm going to go up to the Pattern Design Presentation Board. Again, you're going to open it all the way so that you see it. And you're going to click the pre-made template that you have there. You'll notice that uh, there's a section here that says to title your pattern and write it here. So delete this and write the name of what your pattern might be right here. Select it and just change the name. Then you'll go down to the second title block and right in your first and last name. So now I'm going to bring in my images. I'm going to go up to Insert, Image. It's in my download, so I'm going to upload it from the computer. So here is my pattern template. I'm going to upload that. And then I'm going to Insert, Image again. Upload from computer. And I'm going to find the image where I have the transparent background. Now, you can also look at this in thumbnail view. So sometimes that makes it a little easier to find things. So here it is. I'm just going to click that and open it. Now you might notice that uh, I'm just going to, for the time being, I'm going to move this swatch sort of over here. And I'm going to grab the corner and maybe make it a little smaller just in case. And you'll see that the transparent image that you made from SketchUp is here and it is transparent. If you have lines going through here, you may need to bring it into photo scissors and remove those lines so that we don't see them. But you do see, in my view, I have a little extra chair there and there's a logo here. But I can crop these out by double clicking onto the image, getting those little handles and bringing them in to crop them out of my image. Oops, and make sure that you don't distort the image. You wanna get that singular arrow on the handle and then bring it up. And you see how this time, it's not distorted. When I'm ready, I'm going to click Enter. Now it's applied. In a few of the examples, I made a background swatch here. You can use it if you'd like or not. It's kind of up to you. Also notice that this has a border on it. I don't really want that border. So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to go to the border color and I'm going to make that transparent. And I think that looks a little bit better. I might make this a little bit bigger and I could overlap it. Make sure to look at some of the examples 
that I have for you in the assignment. It's kind of up to you how you want to do things. I could leave the background swatch here if I wanted to make this smaller, for instance. Maybe I would put it here and I would enlarge this. I can just drag it across. Now I have my chair and my background swatch here and I can move these around. I can reposition them because they're like objects. Compositionally, you wanna make sure you have some balance, right? So I have one on this side and one on that side. I could alternate this a little bit Look in the examples and see what you like best. I could leave the background swatch here, but I think it's creating a little bit too much of a distraction. So I'm going to just leave it floating. Normally I don't do that, but I think it looks kind of interesting. It's almost like the swatch itself is a background swatch. Notice I'm just sort of playing with the placement. It's up to you on how you want to do this. I do, however, think that this would be better off with a little bit of a drop shadow. When you select the object, you're going to get a format options option. If you go down here to drop shadow and click the arrow, this allows you some control. You might see that it added something a little dark around the edges. So you're gonna play with these adjustments here. If you keep the blur radius at nothing, um, you'll, you can change the angle. You might see that that line uh, is kind of moving a little bit. I have to make the distance out a little bit more. You want to keep that maybe just about there. You don't want to have like a big drop shadow because that just looks sort of weird. We're just trying to highlight it a little bit. Now the angle is kind of strange. In general, when we think about light, we usually think about it as coming from the upper left-hand side. So that means a shadow would be at the lower right. So I'm just going to adjust this until I can kind of get it to the lower right. Then I want to make it soft. I don't want to make it really harsh. If I make it really harsh, it looks weird. And we want to make it very soft because it's really a very subtle thing that kind of brings it off the page a little bit. We're not trying to really make it a hard um, looking object. And you can also play with the transparency here. You'll notice if I toggle it to the right, it sort of disappears and then it can get very dark, but that's even a little distracting. So you're going to have to use a little bit of your aesthetic sense and think about how you want to make this work. Look at the examples. They're all a little bit different. When you're done, you're just going to turn this in. Click turn in and you're done. I look forward to seeing you.